Right, gentlemen, off we go. Question one. Who created the TV series Hollyoaks, Grange Hill? Steve. Bill Redmond. Correct. Question two. Which famous artist <coughs> excuse me, designed the cover for Paul Weller's Stanley Road album? Dan. Damien Hurst. Nope. Steve? Stacey Evans. Nope. Anyone else? I don't think of. Peter Blake. Peter Blake is correct. Question three. This is going to be a fast one, I think. The French city of Dijon is a social... Mustard, anyway. Yeah. Um, four. Question four. Which flightless bird has nostrils at the tip... Keith. Kiwi. Kiwi is correct. Douglas Hogg made newspaper headlines in two... Who was that? Keith. Duck House? Nope. Duck, so... Douglas Hogg made newspaper headlines in 2009 when he claimed parliamentary expenses for cleaning what? His moat. His moat is Sugarloaf Mountain overlook. Steve. Rio de Janeiro. Correct, Amundo. For the second time today. <laughs> right. Question seven. Which branch of mathematics using letters as symbols? Dan. Algebra. Correct. Using letters as symbols yes. takes its name from the Arabic for resetting. Question 8. Which Oscar winning director had his first success with the film Shallow Grave? Dan. Danny Boyle. Correct. On a roll, mate. Question 9. Which Italian word meaning little book is used for the text of an opera? Please. Please. Libretto. Libretto is right. 11. Question 10. Who was nominated for the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her portrayal as Queen Elizabeth? Steve? Oh, no, minus one, mate. Martin? Linda Jackson? No, uh, minus one. Dan? Judy Dench? No, minus one. Um, so, Keith, you got the full question. Who was nominated for the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her portrayal as Queen Elizabeth in the, the King's Speech? Elna Bonham Carter. Question 11. Which Mexican artist was twice in... Steve. Frida Kahlo. Correct. Was no, we should have known that about five years ago. <laughs> was twice married to the artist Diego Rivera. <coughs> Question 13. In the film The Lavender Hill Mob, the gang planned to melt down gold bullion and ship it to France. Keith. Eiffel Tower. Yeah. As models of which? Models of what? The Eiffel Tower, right? Keith. Down 12, Martin 6, myself 5. I've missed one out there as well. Going back a touch. What name is given? What name is given to the first day of Lent? Steve. Ash Wednesday. Correct. Ash Wednesday. <laughs> Question 14. In which American state is the petrified forest? Steve. Arizona? Is correct. After the next bit, I'll, I'll get someone to give me the scores. Question 15. Which film actor who starred in Captain Corelli's Mandolin? Keith. Nick Cage. Nick Cage is right. Is the nephew of Francis Ford Coppola. Is that Keith? Yeah. You have the scores so far? Steve, 9. Martin, 6. Keith, 15. Dan, 12. Right, question 16. Which Russian word was used to describe the Soviet Union's policy of openness? Keith. Glasnost. Correct. Question 17. In 1972, Isaac Hayes won an Oscar. Shaft. Shaft. Came from Shaft, yeah? Best original song for which film? Question 18. Memphis was the first capital of which town? Egypt. Egypt is correct. Question 19. In Norse mythology, how many legs did Odin's... Keith? Eight. Odin's horse sleep near have is eight is correct. Keith on 19. 
Question 20. Which smoked fish is one of the... Keys. Haddock. Haddock is right. One of the omelettes. Omelette Arnold Bennett. What? Which smoked fish is one of the main ingredients in an omelette Arnold Bennett? 21 Um, What type of creature is a bandy bandy? Steve. Matthew Peel. Nope, minus one. What type of creature is a bandy bandy which is found in Australia? Keith? Snake. Snake is correct. So what's Keith on? Keith on 23. Jesus Christ. I made this too easy. <laughs> Question 22. The name of which sea comes from the Latin for middle of the land? Oh, sorry. I hadn't cleared it. Mediterranean. Steve, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Thank you. I do apologise. Question 23. Which fire breathing monster slain by Bel. Keith. Minus one, mate, sorry. Uh, you can have the rest of the question. Which fire breathing monster slain by Bellerophon had a lion's head, goat's body, and a snake or a dragon's tail? Steve? Chimera. Chimera is correct. 24. Which playwright is the subject of the book Prick Up Your Ears? Steve? Alan Nope. Do you want? Correct, mate. Correct. That key. That's key. Got it. What a great win. I got, no, I got the point. Oh, oh no, yeah. no, yeah, yeah, you're right. Thanks, Keith. <coughs> I'm glad we got that spotter there. Uh, you had finished. You said pick up your ears, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, it's finished. Okay. Question twenty-five. Whole lot of love, Steve. Let's up and top of top CCS. No, can't give you that minus one. Oh. No. Actually, I was going to say top of the pops. Dan would have got top of the pops. You can't give three answers. <laughs> I think you're right there. Are you going to deduct me one for that as well? Hey, I'm going to, going to, yeah, you're going to punch it into it. Whole lot of love, yellow pearl, and the wizard we use as theme tunes. Yeah, uh, uh, right, 13 uh, for me. Dan gets two points, 16. Um, question 26. An ampersand is it? Steve. And. Is a symbol used to denote which word and. Question 27. Last night I dreamt I went to Mandalay again. Steve. Rebecca. Correct. <laughs> the first line of which novel? <laughs> Question 29. In The Simpsons, who shot Mr. Burns? Steve. It was Simpson, young Simpson. It was not Maggie. Dragging that out a bit there, Steve. Do I get the Yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> Question 30. A harlot's progress and a rig's progress. Keith. Hogarth. A works by which English painter and engraver, William Hogarth? Oh, what a good game again, Keith. Was that we it? Three, yes. Yeah. Well uh, that means Keith can't be called.